question number 121 choose the feature which is not true for p flowers p flowers means fabiaceae family p has diadelpha stamens yes all the stamens are united into two bundles so this is true for the p flowers wedgelary is stimulation of petals it is also true marginal placentation it is also true you must have seen p at least in this winter season that if you have seen the pod you must have seen this kind of pod and here these are p which you eat so this is the marginal placentation and the ovules are attached at the margin of the ovary so this is true radial symmetry no p shows the bilateral symmetry or the zygomorphic symmetry so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question question number 122 stamens are united into more than two bundles in option number three and four they say bean and pea in the just last question we discussed that in fabiaceae members the stamens are united into two bundles and the condition is diadelphous condition of stamens so option number three and four are ruled out what about the china rose china rose shows the mono adelphous condition in which all the stamens are united into a single bundle so this is also ruled out citrus no doubt citrus is the correct answer where stamens are united into more than two bundles and the condition is called polyadelphus so the correct option for the given question is option number one question number 123 which of the given plants have superior ovary with exile placentation means you have to find out the plants over here with both the traits superior ovary as well as exile placentation i can make it easier to find out how you have to remember that the members of solanaceae and the liliaceae they have both the qualities they have superior ovary as well as exile placentation so now you have to go for the members which belong to the families solanaceae as well as liliaceae tomato solanaceae gram fabiaceae tulip liliaceae mustard brassicaceae petunia solanaceae so a d and e so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 what about the other options other options are gram and mustard gram fabiaceae and it shows marginal placentation mustard it belongs to the brassicaceae and it shows parietal placentation question number 124 read the below given floral formula all of the following floral features are shown in the above formula except okay symmetry of flower a flower can be zygomorphic or actinomorphic and it can be easily shown in the floral formula here this sign shows the symmetry is actino morphic it means symmetry of flower can be seen yes addition of stamens stamens they are united with the perianth it can be shown over here it shows epiphyllous condition also known as epitheplus condition so addition of stamens can be seen now number as well as union of carpels see here the number of carpels is 3 and they are united it is also seen so this is true type of placentation this floral formula is of family liliaceae and here you know that the placentation is exile but it cannot be shown in the floral formula nowhere you can see that the exile placentation is seen so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 125 select an incorrect match first option indigofera non endospermic seeds because indigofera belongs to the family fabiaceae and fabiaceae members have non endospermic seeds it is true tomato persistent calyx it is also true lily perianth attached with 
statements yes in just previous question we see that members of liliaceae they have perianth attached with the stamens it is true p bicapillary ovary no in p it is monocapillary ovary so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question 